So five reasons why chicken is not healthy. Five reasons why chicken is unsafe to eat. Five reasons why chicken is disgusting. Five reasons why after this video, you'll never eat chicken again. So let's get to it, shall we? So let's look at shit. So feces, shit, crap, whatever you want to say. Chicken is allowed to soak in what's called a fecal soup for hours before being packaged. Now to me, that's disgusting. Number two is toxic chemicals. So parasitic acid and chlorine are commonly used to treat chicken. Now you, now you might be saying, what the heck is parasitic acid? Well, it's used to oxidize metals. Now that's tasty. It can cause skin and eye irritation. Mmm. And long-term exposure can cause permanent lung damage. Now that sounds fun. That sounds like a safe chemical to use on food. Now let's talk about chlorine. So parasitic acid and chlorine are commonly used to treat chickens. Let's talk about chlorine. Chlorine is a toxic gas. It's known as a toxic gas. Berthalite was commonly used by Germans in World War I before mustard gas. Berthalite is just chlorine. It's a chlorine gas used by the Germans in World War I. Also, it was used by insurgents in the Iraq War in 2007. Superbugs! So close to 75% of all bacterially tainted chicken is, contains resistant bacteria that are becoming ever more resistant to antibiotics. Maybe you're saying, how is this possible? Well, the FDA says that 80% of the antibiotics used in the United States go to livestock. What? I'll say it again. 80% of our antibiotics that were, that were supposed to be used for humans are actually used for livestock. Now that's crazy. Carcinogens. Arsenic in chicken can lead to an increased risk of lung and bladder cancer. So how does the arsenic get in chicken? So according to the FDA, USDA, chickens are fed feed containing arsenic. So the USDA says, yeah, well, there's arsenic in the feed, of course, but that has nothing to do with the flesh, the corpse of the chicken that you eat. There's no arsenic in that. So, okay, so we, we, we obviously know that what, what you eat doesn't become what you are. So, of course, that would make sense. I say bologna on that one. I say bananas on that one. Because if you think about it, what you are becomes what you eat, right? So, if the chickens are eating arsenic-laden food, their flesh is going to become arsenic laden. Now you might be saying, yeah, bust of beans. I don't eat chicken. I eat beef. So what you're telling me is that you eat cow. Okay, let's talk about cow then. So chicken litter. Chicken litter is just the chicken crap. So chicken litter, the FDA says that between one and two million tons, million tons of chicken litter, chicken shit essentially, is swept up and fed to cattle. Chickens are also fed ground bits of animals, which doesn't make any sense. So think about this. So Let's, let's picture for me. Let's picture a second. Let's picture something. Chicken feed. So here, you have the chickens, right? The factory chickens. It's a, it's, a, it's a lovely place to be a factory chicken. So you're a factory chicken, and so they sweep the floor. So they sweep the floor, collect all the chicken litter. What else is on the floor is the chicken feed. So they sweep up the chicken feed, they sweep up the chicken litter, the chicken crap, ship it, package it, give it to cattle, sell it to cattle farmers. Now the cattle are eating that chicken litter concoction, which is chicken shit and the chicken feed. The chicken feed contains other parts of animals. Cows, chickens, they're not meant to eat animals. They're vegetarians. Cows are vegetarians. So when they're eating other cows, you heard a mad cow, haven't you? Mad cow. You're saying, yeah, but obviously, obviously, if there was mad cow in cattle in the United States, we would know about that. Well, questionnaire Pete, you got something wrong on your sleep. Well, of course the USDA would protect the consumer, the, the, the citizen, right? Wrong. The USDA has banned checking of cattle for mad cow disease. What? That's right, they have banned the practice of checking cattle for mad cow. Okay, okay, but obviously cooking would get rid of that, right? Wrong, if you cook meat with mad cow in it that is tainted with mad cow disease, you're still gonna get the mad cow. And if that wasn't gross enough, the average hamburger contains cow parts, cow corpse parts, cow meat, from up to a thousand different cattle. Why would you wanna eat this? Okay, so let's, let's move on. So number five is cholesterol. So four ounces of beef, four and four ounces of chicken, both contain 100 milligrams of cholesterol. But you might be saying, yeah, but it's good cholesterol. We need cholesterol as humans. We need it. As humans, we make our own cholesterol. We make it. Excess cholesterol 
is bad. Excess cholesterol just means any added dietary cholesterol. So anything that you eat containing cholesterol, so animal products. Excess cholesterol accumulates in the skin, the tendons, and the arteries. This is a major contributor to vascular disease of the heart and brain, leading to heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. Who wants that? And it's also known to facilitate cancer growth and development. Now that you know, now that you know, why would you want to eat this stuff? Chicken has been regarded as the safe, lean meat, the safe, lean protein, part of every American's diet. But it's a, it's a hoax. There's nothing found in chicken flesh that you can't equally find in plant foods. There's no nutrient, nothing found in animal foods that you can't find in prevalence, in abundance, in plant foods. And in, if you just eat plant foods, you're getting all the good stuff that meat provides. Yeah, meat, meat has nutrients, but you don't get all the added stuff, the bad stuff, the cholesterol, the fat, the protein, the animal protein, that is detrimental to your health. That's detrimental to the cells of the human body. Human body wasn't designed to eat meat. Now that you have the facts, you can make the decision for yourself. I'm not telling you what to think. I'm just sharing with you the facts about the meat kazoo, the meat craziness. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, if you found this video informative, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, subscribe. Support the Simply Vegan Project. Subscribe. You'll get all the good videos. You'll get all this good stuff. Good content always coming. Let's talk about it. Let's keep the conversation going. Put the things down there that you want to talk about. Let's be the change we want to see in the world. Let's be the change. Remember to live simply so others may simply live. And may your bananas always be ripe so you don't have to eat chicken-laden chicken crap. Crap-laden chicken snacking. What? So, oh, superbugs.